Jo, dat is baie dinge wat ek sien is by hierdie plek. Alles wat hy sien het, dit is baie mooi vir my. Die jaar wat ek het begin werk hier nie. Ek het het gevat, is, is dit nie uh, belangrijk goed nie. Want ek was te jong. Want het ons af voor, man, by ons is sê, hy hey, het gekom vir werk hier zo. Dit is nie dit om te speel hier zo. Dan lees ons wat sy voor, man. Dan doen dit. Tot nou. Nou, ek kan nie ons sê, ek is project best hier dit. Ik krijg bak. Mooi bak, niet schrijf bak in. Je kan zien bij mijn bak. Voel ik eens bij die ijs. Ik voel ik eens allemaal samen met mijn familie als ik eens bij die werk. Voor mij, dat betekent voor mij bij goed. Tamati kan voor jou zijn, Tamati is mijn kos, Tamati is mijn kinders, Tamati is mijn pa, Tamati is mijn enige ding. Het is mijn leven ook. Het belangrijkste van die Tamati is met mijn leven. Als ik zeg dat ze twee, ik zeg mijn leven, dan zeg ze twee is Tamati. I think of ZZ2 not only in terms of its massive size. Most people are impressed. Well, we produce about 40% of the tomatoes of the country. But the size is only a result of a mind shift from industrialized farming to high-tech, cutting-edge science combined with nature-friendly farming. If you look at the valley, around us and the layout of the farm. It's functional beauty. It's all harmonically designed out of rational reasons. It starts with the soil. A healthy soil, you can produce a, a healthy, nutritious crop. We saw that by applying compost and uh, other biological products into the whole system, we managed to kickstart the soil health again. Uh, 3,000 hectares every year under irrigation to produce compost is a massive undertaking. And by trying to get closer to, uh, to incorporate everything nature gives to you is, uh, is never the same. It's, it's, it's always, always changing and, and that makes it extremely interesting. You physically see how the environment around you is getting healthy again and you also know that your food that you produce out of the system is also healthy. We try to move away from inorganic chemistry and try to replace it with natural remedies, like trap crops, you know, these brunjels which we plant next to the rows, extracts we make from plants rather than use inorganic chemicals to spray with. So we have a whole factory going, making plant extracts and uh, breeding effective microorganisms, things like that. The sustainability is actually the same as taking the long-term view and seeing what your effects will be after 20 years, after 50 years, after 100 years. What is to go green? To use the nature to your benefit. How do you use the nature to your benefit? You either use material like compost or like uh, things from the nature, you know, to treat your soil and try to minimize your soil burn pathogen. Or you take plants which has resistant and you say, okay, you're not a tree, you're a vegetable, but I can still use the same, the same philosophy, which means I will take a very strong rootstock, which have the resistance to the disease, and I will take a commercial variety, I will put it on top, I will graft it, and we are combining them to one plant, to what we call a super plant. And yeah, that's, that's the product that we are looking into the future. If you, if you look at that now, we're actually looking into the future. The grafting is an excellent solution to complement the product, to stay green and to use less chemicals. And that's where the world is going. Huh? Things change here rapidly and it's changing rapidly um, due to consumer uh, demand. Our own vision in terms of where we want to go with, with a product. 
if you're not always improving, they'll catch up with you in five years. Eh? I've grown up with tomatoes. I've been at, at this company now for 22 years. I'm getting out of bed in the morning with and for tomatoes. Net houses and protected structures is my passion because I saw what the benefit of structures like this uh, is for, for tomato companies. Uh, this technology en enabled us to introduce new types of tomatoes which nobody else can grow or guarantee my supplier a constant uh, supply of product. In this structure we harvest uh, on average between 250 and 300 tons of tomatoes per hectare. So we are three times more productive per hectare inside a structure like that. There are millions of people sitting in cities who must live. If we don't use our best knowledge, our best science, our best technology to support us, we haven't got a chance. That you don't need to destroy nature in the process. That's what we believe. We strive to produce an, a, a, a nutrient-rich uh, product that, at the end of the day, benefits our, our, our consumer. And that's, and you know, that, that's adding value. We want to add value all the time. Nature farming or nature buddhare is the farming of the future. Only we are already there. The one classical example of yearly innovation to keep abreast and to keep ahead is uh, our binding up and planting uh, protocol. We started with wire, like everybody did, and then we discovered twine, and then we discovered UV resistant twine. And then to put it up, these guys, as you can see, devise their own sort of techniques to make their work better and faster and earn more. And uh, are now putting up about five times as much as we used to in the olden days. Always I'm um, speeding so we can make maybe a hundred and something kilometer per day. You use less labor but you use much more skilled labor. You train your guys up from zero to something and they earn more and more. I wish you met the hand. Ni met book ni. Met the hand. Then we can show do and do and do and do. And then you shall see what honey mark. Came here and put nothing. I just was just asking for work as a as a farm basic worker. And then I worked in the pack house. I got a job for the pack house. If you work hard you get your promotion one day. Everybody, everybody got this day. One day you will, be, you will be promoted. The workers on this farm are not laborers. They are really interdependent with us. And we still want to work with their grand-grandchildren. They get housing. They get their schools, which we support. There are clinics. There are kindergartens. and. Uh, very good pension scheme, all these sort of things, eh, which helps them become more secure. Every day here, you, you're faced with a different challenge. You know, you, you're sitting with so many dynamics. With fresh produce, time is your enemy. A tomato only stays color three for a day, a day and a half. I would say within 48 hours, the product that's picked on any particular day will be fresh on the shelf. Your picker will arrive there at seven o'clock in the morning. We are doing 350 tons, up to 700 tons of tomatoes in one day. Here's the fruit picked into a crate, uh, transported into a pack house. Pack house then processes it into the right packaging according to orders or whatever we at marketing want. Electronically, we then send loadouts to the pack houses and from that it gets loaded and out it goes. Because I'm just driving from here to Deben, Johannesburg, Bloemfontein, Kimberley. Those damage is keeping my family to feel comfort. I really feel comfort. 
treat the truck like my wife. Like my wife. No, I like I like I like the way I like my wife. My and my family. My family. That gets offloaded into a holding facility. The retail customer is a different customer. They specify exactly what they need. They want a certain quality in a certain packaging at a price. The colour, the firmness, they are very specific to what they, they, they would like. They'll, they'll come in 5 o'clock in the morning and start making up all these orders for in smaller, smaller lots, much more efficient, smaller unit trucks on that side that will then distribute it out to those DCs. Whatever stock comes in today needs to leave today. Some stock only spends about half a day here because they've got a short shelf life. The truck will arrive here around about 6 a.m. in the morning. It will offload, inbound will receive the truck, and then the stock will start being picked. It seems like chaos, but there is, there is a process and it is organized. So say for example, one store has ordered two cases, another has ordered five. A picker will pick it by, by lane drop two cases here, top five cases there, and just so on and so forth. And then after that is done, the picking function, it will be loaded out to stores. sure that the, 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 the quality is maintained. When the customers come in, they must find that the department is good looking. And actually to get all that right, you need to get um, motivated staff. And by motivating them is by knowing them, um, not as an employee, but knowing them as a human being. If I see an empty space, it makes me feel like, hey, I don't know. Then I have to get the backup, something that I had to fill that space. You just have to treat a customer like a queen. You just have to put your customers first. Tomatoes was picked in Zanin, and two days later it is in our shelf when our customers are buying them. That shows that pig and pear is selling the best quality you can get in the, in, in the group. It's very fresh. It looks like it was picked out of the garden just like now now. What has surprised me is just the effort that goes into making the final customer happy. So everyone does take pride in the work they do here. I know we are helping people, we send tomatoes, a lot of tomatoes, so I know people they are benefiting from us. I feel proud of it, I feel happy because we still go to town and we see the tomatoes that I know from the farm and I sit in the town, everywhere you go you see those tomatoes, so I feel proud of it. As you can see, it was the mother's cook. The diamond is, is by ons, is ons family, ons look in part. Because pride in your work is certainly the best fun you can have.